Question 18. Jan recorded the ages in years of a sample of people at a fairground. He drew the stem and leaf diagram for his results. The key shows that 1-5 represents 15. So remembering that this 7 over here is not the same as this 7, because that's 17 and that one's 27. That one's 37. Write down the number of people in this sample. Well, each number represents a person, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There are 21 people there. The numbers down the left-hand side just show what these actually begin with, so the data is all on the right-hand side of this stem and leaf diagram. Part B, write down the mode. Mode means most common. Now we can look through this and see that there are a lot of numbers that repeat themselves. We've got a few nines, we've got quite a few fives, and a lot of sevens. What's important is that it's the most numbers on one individual line. Because while there's four sevens there, there's only two sevens on this line. So seven here is the mode which each seven stands for. One seven, seventeen. There are a lot more seventeens represented there than any other number that ends in seven. Part C says work out the range. Now this is a two mark question so we're going to have to show our calculations here. Range is the difference between the biggest and the smallest number. Now the biggest is not nine and the smallest is not zero. The biggest number is the last one in our sorted list. So we go to 50 and our final thing value is going to be 55. This one here is our maximum. 55. So the smallest value, again, it's not zero, it's the first one on the list. There's five here, which represents 15 according to our key. So if we take away 15 from 55, we should be able to see that the range, the difference between those numbers is 40.